let's take a look at chapter 6.1.11 problems uh, problem and 6.1.15 the first idea here is a probability distribution and so looking at a discrete probability distribution in this sense here we have the probability of some outcome the outcomes in this case are 0, 100, 200, 300, 400. They're numerical. And we have the probability of that outcome. Now, in this case, we don't know what the outcomes mean. It just means 0, 100, 200, 300, 400. There's some values that can happen. Now, in this question, is this a probability distribution? The answer to this one is no, it's not. And it's not because to be a probability distribution which is basically a table of values that shows you the probability of some uh, the likelihood of outcomes occurring that's all it is and that the sum of these has to equal one but these values here have to be probabilities and probabilities are never negative and so in this case this is not um, this is not a um, uh, probability distribution or discrete probability distribution um, one does it sum up or oh because each probability is not between zero and one and so there's our reason right there that is connected to this other idea and another problem 6.1.15 where if this is a probability distribution what's the missing value right there that missing value, remember one thing for this to be a probability distribution, right here are my outcomes. These are the likelihood of that happening. And so in this case, so in this case here, looking for the missing value, you have 0.6, uh, this is 65, 75 plus 3. So if you add that up, it's 0.83. So this missing number has to be 0.17, 1 minus 0.18.